know how my back can bend that way, but um, I cannot wait to rewatch this whole video and see how I look. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julie. Today, we are going to be doing a challenge. The challenge to copy Anna McNulty. The really good contortionist, um, I'm going to be trying to copy her video. Um, the video name is called How to Improve Your Back Flexibility Advanced Routine. Now, keep in mind, I've only been training for five months in an acro class. So I don't have much experience. Maybe, I think, cup for three or four months, I was doing one time a week. Now I'm doing two times a week because I'm in competition, but I really don't practice every single day, so I don't have much experience. We're gonna, I'm gonna try my hardest, see if I can do all this stuff, so let's get on to our first trick. Alright guys, let's start with the first one. So she says to take your hands and put them on the wall and walk down, and then she says to put your chest flat on the wall like this and hold that for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And walk back up the wall. So that is the first trick that she did. Now, let's move on to the next one. All right, there's actually two parts to doing that back bend down the wall. Now, we're gonna go back down the wall and move further away from the wall and try to stretch our back even more. So let's do that. There she said, step away from the wall a little and then go like that. So your chest is on the wall. So you do that for 10 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then walk back up the wall. So now let's move on to our next chick. All right guys, now we're gonna try the trick that you just saw. So, let's see. She says to get down into a back bend and then like straighten your legs. Let's see if I can walk in close enough. Now her legs are longer, so it's a little bit easier to do. That's the best I can do for that trick. It is a lot of work. My legs are pretty short <laughs> because I'm, I know, I'm just really short. So I can't really straighten them out, but that's as hard as I try. All right guys, now we are gonna be trying the next trick. So she says to go like this and then go like that. So that trick is pretty easy and it only hurts the back of your knees a little bit, so I think everyone can basically do that. Let's move on to the next one. Okay guys, so it is time to do our next trick. So she said to stand a couple feet away from the wall and do a handstand. And then bring each leg down five times like that. Three, four, five, and I'll just try out my other leg. One, two, three, four, five. So five times on each leg, you do that and that will help improve your spine flexibility. So as we able to do that one, let's see if this gets harder. The next one that Anna did was, you have to do a handstand against the wall, and you have to put your legs flat like that, and just go like that, and you're done. Got yourself a nice handstand, and this was actually pretty easy to do this one. You just have to go up, put your butt against the wall, and bring it down. And you're good. 
Alright guys, so this one's done on the mat. This one's uh, pretty hard, so let's see how I can do it. I'm gonna try my best. So you're supposed to have your head like right down here. So let's see, so you're supposed to go up into a seal and keep your arms spread. You're supposed to go back. So that's the farthest that I can go. Um, I mean, if you do this every day, you probably can get better and better at it. So um, let's try the next one. The next one that we're gonna be trying is, so you have to go like this, and you have to grab your legs and bring it up into like a triangle. This is gonna be, there we go. So you're supposed to go like this, and just keep up into a triangle. like that. So that was our next stretch and let's move on. Alright guys, let's do this one. Not sure if I can do it, but let's try. She's supposed to keep here and then just go. There you go. That's pretty easy stretch. Just go boop and you're right up. So now Let's move on to the next trick. All right guys, so our next trick involves with that little stretch that we just did. So let's go ahead and do that one. So you're supposed to put your feet to your head and grab them and then slowly come down and straighten them out. So that was our next stretch. I mean, I don't know how my back can bend that way, but um, I cannot wait to rewatch this whole video and see how I look. Let's move on to the next trick. All right guys, I attempted this trick once. I can't get it, let's see if I can at least try to get it. So you're supposed to go like this, and you're supposed to grab, like, I don't know how she does it. And you're supposed to go like straight, maybe from this side. She has them together though. <sighs> That's the closest I can get, guys. Let's move on. And if you're watching, can you leave a message down below in the comments? I'd appreciate it. I don't know how you do this stuff. All right, guys, so the next one is a child's pose. She said to do this to lengthen out your back. So you're just supposed to go like this. Stretch out your back, reach as far as you can out, and try to keep your butt touching your heels. So just go exactly like that for 10 seconds or longer. All right, now after we have a little relaxing break, let's go on to our next pose. All right guys, now we're gonna try another pose. This one involves a bridge slash a back bend. So we're just gonna go like this. And try to straighten your knees so your butt's touching your head. So you're like. Like that. So you're just gonna hold that for about 10 seconds or so. You know, I think I've only missed one or two things so far. Let's see if we can keep on going. All right, guys, now we're gonna be trying to do a bridge on our knees. So you're just gonna start like this, kneeling, and you're gonna come down like that. And there you go. That is a bridge on your knees. Okay, so now we're gonna go back down into the position that we were just in. Except we're gonna go down, I don't know how, but onto your elbows, like this. And there you go. Now, let's move on to the next. Now we're gonna do a basic bridge on our elbows. So just take our hands and go. And there we go, we have a basic bridge on our elbows. I did that one. Wonder if it gets any harder. Alright, so again we're 
going to go back into that position. And then we're going to do a chin stand. Try to keep your feet on the floor. And come back up. Now, let's move on to our next harder, I think maybe, move. So now that we did all those back stretches to prevent soreness from when you're done, we're going to start with a pike stretch with your toes pointed. Just like that. Alright guys, we finally made it to the end of this video. I'm pretty proud of myself. I only missed about one or two of those tricks. Let me know in the comments how you think I did. Don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, especially the bell, because this week I'm going to be going on a cruise ship and doing acro and contortion tricks. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>